In this question, we have a sample of 1.14 moles of a gas occupying a volume of 35.4 litres in a flexible container to start with. Then some gas is added to the container so that there is 1.87 moles of gas in the end. The pressure and temperature of the gas remain constant. Our goal is to find the final volume of the gas. So in this question, we've been given the initial number of moles. Moles has a symbol N and one shows initial. So our N1 is going to be 1.14 moles. We're also given the initial volume. So that's going to have the symbol V1 to show initial volume. And we're told the final number of moles, that's going to be N2. Two showing at the end, N showing the number of moles. We're trying to find the final volume. That's going to be our V2. We're told pressure and temperature remain constant. So let's go to our equation sheet. We're looking for an equation with V and N at the beginning and the end with constant pressure and temperature. So that's going to be here, Avogadro's law, constant pressure and temperature. And here's our equation, V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. Now we can see here that the volume and moles are in ratio to each other. And the ratio at the beginning is equal to the ratio at the end. So what that's telling us is that if our volume increases, our number of moles should also increase in the same ratio. And if our volume decreases, our number of moles should also decrease in the same ratio. So let's fill out our known variables and make a prediction, and then we can do our calculation. So our N1 was 1.14 moles. Our V1 was 35.4 liters. Our N2 was 1.87 moles. And our V2 is what we're trying to find. So if we make a prediction here, our N increases from 1.14 at the beginning to 1.87 at the end. So our number of moles is increasing. So based on our equation, we predict the volume should also increase in the same ratio. So we're expecting our final answer V2 to be bigger than 35.4 because that should have increased. So that can help us kind of figure out if our answer is correct once we've calculated it. So let's go ahead and do our calculation now. So using our equation, we're trying to find V2. So we're going to rearrange this equation for V2. Right now, V2 is divided by N2. So I'm going to multiply by N2 on both sides of my equation. Now my N2s will cancel out. So I'm left with V2 is equal to V1 times N2 divided by N1. Let's put in our numbers. V1 was 35.4 liters. N2 was 1.87 moles and N1 was 1.14 moles. So if I put that into my calculator, I get 58.1 liters. Let's fill that in here. So just as we predicted, the volume increased because the number of moles increased, and that makes sense based on our equation. It also just makes sense generally if moles is how much of the gas we have, if we have more gas at the same pressure and temperature, we're going to expect it's going to take up a bigger volume. So this makes sense based on the equation and just logically based on what we know about moles and volume. So we can fill in our final answer here. Now be careful because this equation only works if pressure and temperature are constant. If they're not constant, we're going to have to choose a different equation. In this skill, the pressure and temperature will be constant for all the questions.